it's not what happens to you that breaks you. It's the not being prepared for it that breaks you. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we talk about moving on from relationship disappointment. Enjoy. So if you've ever caught yourself saying, I can't believe he did that to me. I can't believe she did me like that. Believe it. People do dumb stuff each and every day. People will hurt you. It's life. But the true test, the true test of your character, the true test of your heart, the true test of your will is how do you respond to whatever it is somebody did to you? Do you break down? Do you fight? Do you give up? Do you move forward? Do you bounce back? I love what the great Dr. Eric Thomas says. He says, it's not what happened to you that broke you. It's the fact that you weren't prepared for what happened to you that broke you. See, life is all about being mentally prepared for any situation that it throws at us. Because sometimes life is going to throw everything at you, including the kitchen sink, like I've said many times before. See, you should be able to trust. You should be able to love. But what you should never, ever, ever do is be surprised. You should never ever be surprised at anything that another living human being does. Yeah, I know. She's supposed to love you. I know. He's supposed to have your back. I know. They're supposed to be looking out for you. But that doesn't mean anything. They're human. They will get put into a situation and they will react. Their fight or flight response will kick in. And they may do something that may work best in their favor and not in yours. Yes, they will hurt you. Yes, people do dumb stuff. Yes, people react and they do things that benefit them and don't benefit you all the time. And what's so crazy is the fact that they may have never even really intentionally meant to hurt you. But one thing happened and it led to another thing and then another thing happened. And before you know it, the decision was made and ultimately you were the one that got hurt. But on the other hand, you allowed a snake to slither his way or her way into your life. They never meant you any good. Sometimes people are just not good people. And they see a weakness in you. And they prey on your weakness. And they knew they were going to hurt you all along. You never saw it coming. Next thing you know, you were hurt. And you were struggling. And you were trying to find a way out of the situation, a way to pick yourself back up. This video today is all about your mental toughness. This video today is all about you being mentally prepared for anything another living human being can do to you. Because they will do some dumb stuff. They will do some crazy stuff. So here's a tip that I use that has helped me overcome some really, really challenging situations that have occurred in my life. I call it mental practice. And it works for positive situations as well as perceived negative situations. So here's what you do. I'm going to give you an example. So let's say you're in this relationship. Everything is phenomenal. It's wonderful. You got the perfect mate. You know there's no way he or she could ever cheat on you. Well, I need you to visualize them, mentally visualize them cheating on you in the worst way. And I can hear you now. Ain't no way I'm going to visualize my girl cheating on me. Bro, listen to me. Just do what I ask you to do, okay? Just do it. (laughs) And so you visualize them cheating on you. And then you visualize your response. So you're getting some practice in. It's your game of life. Like in basketball or any sport, they practice before the games. They don't only practice just shooting. They practice game situations. They may be losing by 10. Let's practice losing by 10. How we gonna come back? So when you find yourself in your game of life in this situation and somebody actually cheated on you and you've got your reps in, you might have practiced the first time spazzing out. That one didn't work for you. You practice the second time, keeping your composure. You practice the third time, even a better response. If, God forbid, 
your game of life presents you in that situation, you are now mentally prepared to handle it and you're going to be stronger because of it. And this not only works in relationships, it works in business. Visualize your business partner stealing all the money. How are you going to respond? Visualize this. Visualize that. Visualize things that can happen to you. You practice. Get those mental reps in. And then you're way more mentally prepared because you practiced it. And you're ready to put yourself in a position to win no matter what comes your way. And that's what it's all about, trying to win each and every day. So ultimately, we win in life. Get those mental reps. And I know it may be tough. I know it may be hard to visualize something that's not good happening to you. You can also visualize good things that are happening to you. Like what would you do? Visualize yourself winning the lottery and how you would deal with the money. So, so many different things you can do. You just got to spend a little bit of time with yourself. Get your practice in. Get your reps in. So, when something comes up, it doesn't break you. It makes you and you understand it's part of life and you can move forward and you can move on. And that's what I call making each and every day of your life ah, a Wednesday. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on the podcast app you're listening on. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash AskClyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.